Good morning traders and welcome to the daily call today Tuesday the 4th of December. Before we get started as always please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay let's have a look at what's happened yesterday the only data that came out was from the US we saw the manufacturing PMI number come in at 59.3 this did help the US dollar as slightly, although many of you would have seen a big gap uh, in the markets yesterday morning, particularly from uh, Aussie related pairs like the Aussie US, Aussie Yen, etc. That was uh, from the weekend, uh, PMI numbers from China and some strong indication that perhaps China is doing well. It's affected our Aussie dollar. Um, it did pull back a little bit, uh, the Aussie US that is, uh, from this US PMI manufacturing data. That was all for yesterday so let's jump into our chart of the day incidentally yesterday's chart of the day when the market opened it gapped up so it basically didn't set nothing up for us so we just had to let that one go the one that I have found this morning is the Kiwi CAD on a daily time scale now we're not quite at that a zone of a double top type situation if you actually zoom out of this chart more it's not quite a double top but still this level that I've picked out is a significant level it lands on the 92 a round number level and it, it looks like it, it could have a bit of uh, trouble getting through there so what I've done is I've put in the hot zone uh, mark in here so let's look for some price action reversal patterns to occur in this region and if I do get that uh, pattern occurring well then I'll be ready to uh, attempt a short trade on this one so for the time being added to your hot list uh, is our chart of the day it is the Kiwi CAD on a daily time scale Okay, what's happening in news for the session that is about to kick off? Well, for us locally, we have the RBA rate statement and rate uh, announcements. It's the first Tuesday of the month. Uh, look, there is no expectation of an interest rate movement, uh, but let's see what they say. Uh, let's listen for any comments, particularly around the housing uh, sector. Um, we know that uh, particularly Sydney, Melbourne, it has been going uh, a little bit south at the moment. Uh, that is being driven not so much by an interest rate decision, but more on other uh, factors, uh, which is uh, something a little bit different. So let's have a look at if they mention uh, anything along that note, and let's see if they mention anything about China and the, the economy in general to give us an indicator of where we may be going. The other bit of data for the evening is at 8.15 this, uh, from the UK, it's Governor Carney will be speaking for the Bank of England and that will wrap up the session. Guys, as always, please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions. Follow me on Twitter at ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. Most importantly, hope you all have a fantastic trading day. I will talk to you tomorrow on The Daily Call. Bye for now.